Hi, thank you for coming back to my little crafty secret for the February edition of the Christmas 365 collaboration. I will be sharing 16 Christmas tags that I had created. For this project, I used plaid Christmas paper. I have had this Christmas paper pad for quite a while. So I decided to use it for, for these tags. I decided to use this, this um, plaid paper because one side, as you can see, is white. And I wanted to take advantage of that, um, that white side. So I stamped every stamp um, word that you see there, North Pole, Express Delivery, the little Christmas trees, the two little boxes there, um, and then the other little things that you can see on there. I, they're, they're all individual stamps. So it took some time to actually create, to actually um, put them in my MISTI and just do basically mass stamping. For each of these tags, I have, uh, I forgot what they're called, the little grommets that I'm showing there. Uh, I have a whole bunch of these. I have a few of the red um, wide flanged ones and I really like the way that came out. I used uh, green ones and I also used some silver too. The paper that I used, uh, some were full sheets of 12 by 12 and the others were just some scraps that I had left over from another tag project that I will be posting actually pretty soon here. For each of the tags, I used red and white thick twine, and I also had um, used green and white thinner twine. So I'm very pleased the way that this came out. And the reason why I had put two tags for each set, each tag there, was because if you notice on the main larger tag, each of them, they don't really have a place to put um, who it's to and where who it's from. So I created this um, smaller tag in the background. This fun tag in the front, you know, I, I do plan to do the check, you know, check off the boxes and make it seem uh, a little bit more realistic. It's using some red pen probably. But um, each, each tag needed a to and from portion. I didn't have it on the main tag. So now that I've quickly flipped through each tag, I'm just showing um, a closer shot of the tags themselves, of the green and red tags. I think of the two, I really like the red tags the most. Well, that's the end of my project share. I hope this gave you ideas on how to create Christmas tags for this year. If you like this video, please make sure to give it a thumbs up and also please stick around to view the rest of my videos. Please also check the description box below for links to the other collaborators that are taking part of this collaboration to see what they created. Until next time, 